How to use Apollo.io for beginners. Hi guys, today we're going to talk about how you can use Apollo.io even if you're a beginner. Now before we start, what is Apollo.io? Apollo.io is a data-driven sales platform designed to help businesses accelerate their sales and marketing efforts. It provides a comprehensive database of over 200 million contacts and companies along with a suite of tools to help business identify and connect with their ideal customer. The platform's features include lead generation and enrichment, email and phone number, verification, sales automation, and analytics. Users can create targeted lists of potential customers based on various criteria such as industry, location, company size, and job title. Apollo.io also integrates with popular CRM marketing automation tools, allowing businesses to streamline their sales and marketing process and maximize their ROI. Overall, Apollo.io is designed to help businesses improve their lead generation and sales processes by, by providing them with data and tools they need to make informed decisions and drive revenue growth. Now, the first thing we're going to do is create an account. We're simply going to click on sign up for free either on the top right or sign up for free on the middle. We're going to have to enter our reward email or we could sign up with Google or sign up with Microsoft. Now after signing up, after entering our email, we are redirected to this page over here. Now here we will be able to set up our Apollo account. We're going to click set up for success. And then we would have a quick setup guide over here. There's an option over here where we can find our first lead and we could watch a video as a tutorial. We could also start our search and get free 50 credits by clicking on the get started. We could also save first lead and we would be able to get another extra 50 credits. We could also engage with our leads by watching this video and we can download the Apollo Chrome extension. We can also click on do more with Apollo and then we would be able to see everything else that we can do. We could connect our CRM by clicking on connect CRM. We could upgrade our plans to get access to advanced fillers, detailed analytics, and more. And we could invite our teammates into our Apollo collaboration. Now what we're going to do for now is we're going to click on this button on the top right that says we're going to do it later. And then this will redirect us to the dashboard of Apollo. As you can see here, on the top, we are currently at the search section, so we're going to go to the home. And this is what we saw earlier. You would need to finish this setup guide to access the onboarding section. There's also a cockpit over here by clicking this. And then over here, this is where we will be able to see different analytics. Over here on the first part, we can see that we can track the contacts that opened by mail in the last hour. There's complete my daily task. There's last week's email stats, this week's email stats, last week's call stats, and this week's call stats. You can also see your scheduled emails over here. Now, if we look at this box, we can see that there's three dots over here. And by clicking this, we would be able to see our contacts. We could see all our tasks. We could view our report. We could view this report. And we could view the report for the scheduling email. Now you could also click over here and then we would be able to change the layout from sales rep cockpit to sales manager cockpit. The sales manager cockpit has this different analytics. You would be able to see the team activity report, the team activity report chart, percentage of emails, marked by interest per rep, how many calls we have made this week, and many more. Now we could click on this actions area over here and we would be able to add different items into our cockpit over here. For example, we can choose from the, the people views and these are the different options that you have. We could also click on company views and this is our different options. For now, we're going to click on cancel and then we're going to click on the search area over here where we were earlier. Under search button, we have the people over here. We can search for hyper-targeted list of peoples using filters. We could also search for companies and it will show us a list of targeted companies using fillers. There's also a list option over here and then save searches. We're going to click on people. 
And then over here, this is where we will be able to search for different peoples. As you can see here on the left, there's a lot of filters that, such as list, persona, name, job titles, company, location, employees, industry, and keywords. There's also buying intent, and email status, and there's four options which are technology, revenue, funding, and job postings, which are currently locked, but we would be able to unlock them by upgrading our plan. There's also a company search over here where we could search them by list, company, account, HQ, location, number of employees, industry and keywords, buying intent, technology, revenue, funding, and job posting. We could see more fillers by clicking this option over here. And then this will allow us to add more filters into our list. Now we could also click on the list option over here where we will be able to add a list and organize our accounts. To create a list, we could simply click on this button on the right side. Then we would be able to make a list with any name like that, for example. And then we could see here, this is our list. The name is over here, the last modified, the owner, the records, and action. The action at the sequence, we would be able to add our list into our sequence. For now, we have no sequence yet because we have not created yet. There's also these three dots over here, which would allow us to edit or delete. Now under engage, we can see that there's sequences, emails, calls, tasks, snippets, meetings, and templates, analytics, and settings, and mailboxes. The sequence will allow us to build that automated process to set meetings. Calls would allow us to make calls, emails. We would be able to see who opened and booked a meeting from our email. And we can see on the tasks, we can create snippets and meeting just like that. We're going to look on the sequence for now. And over here, we would be able to create a sequence for our custom campaigns to automate emails, set meetings, and convert customers. As you can see here on the top, we have the emails, calls, tasks, templates, snippets, meetings, analytics, and settings options. And as you can see here, also in the middle, we can create a new snippet by clicking this button. There's also a more sequence option over here where we can connect sales loft or outreach. We can check pre-built templates or we can click on the guide to sequences. We're going to click on create a sequence and then I will comply. And then over here, we would be able to choose from a pre-built or a new sequence. We're going to check out the pre-built option. And over here, we would be able to choose the different sequence that we want to choose. There's different steps and then there's the 10 days of sequence, as you can see here. This is the day one option. This is the day four. And this is the day seven. Each email is different from the last, so it is a progressive email. You could simply choose any of this that you want. But right now, I'm going to click on back. And then I'm going to check out the new option. Over here, we can name our sequence name. I'm going to type in test and then we can choose a schedule for our sequence. Right now, there's only schedule option over here, but we may edit or create new schedules by clicking on this option. We're simply going to click on create. And now right here, this is our sequence. We could click on add step and then we are now able to add steps for our sequence such as automatic email, manual email, phone calls, action item, or we can link it into different tasks. We're going to try and click on automatic email. And then over here, we can see this settings where if you want it to be immediate after contacts are added or 30 minutes after contacts are added, we can change the minutes to hours and we can type in how many minutes we want. We could also click on advanced settings where we can limit where we can limit the number of emails sent from the steps and we can type in the email. We're simply going to click on continue. And over here, this is where we will be able to create our email. You can simply add in a new thread. You can simply type in a subject just like that. Then we could type in the body and then you can change the formatting of your text. And there's also the include signature or save as a template. As you can see here on the right, there's a previous section where we can see what our email would look like. We could also click on send this email to me if you want to see how you would receive it. 
right now we're going to click on save changes and just like that we have created an automatic email there's we can see the status over here we can see if it's active contacts paused not sent bounced or finished we could add also an a b test and if you don't know what an a b test is this will send two different emails and then it will show you the result of which email is more effective than the other we could click on this three dots on the right and then we can edit or we can clone our email and then we can also delete this now we're going to check on the plan options for apollo and as you can see there's a free option basic option professional option and organization option the free plan is very useful and we are not that much limited but if you want to access more options, you can simply upgrade your plan and then you would be able to access all the different lock options. And you can also customize your credits over here if you want to export credits, just like that. And that's it guys, that's how you can use Apollo for beginners. Hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.